My first day that I got there, Glenn Sather called me in his office and he said to me, you know, I played with Bobby Orr. I played with Guy Lafleur. I played with John Beliveau. Um, he played with some of the great players and some of the great organizations. And here's what I learned from those guys. And here's what I want you to learn. And here's what I want you to do going forward. And one of the first things he said to me is one day we're going to be in the National Hockey League sooner than you think. He said one day you're going to be captain of this hockey team. And one day we're going to win the Stanley Cup. And so when you're 17 years old and you're still trying to make professional hockey, I can remember kind of skipping out of his office thinking, wow, this is the greatest thing in the world. Now, in between all that, there was a lot of hard work and a lot of uh, uh, cracking the whip from Glenn Sather that made us all better. But <clears throat> I learned from that day um, how those players took care of me as a kid. I mean, it was truly remarkable. Uh, they, I, I had like 14 stepdads and yet they when we got in the locker room they treated me as an equal teammate so I learned from those guys that each and every player in an organization is invaluable and so when I did become captain when guys would come up and down from the minors um, and and I was lucky guys like Kevin Lowe and Paul Coffey and Mark Messier we treated every guy the same uh, we got rid of rookie initiation we thought that was silly it was hard enough for a 19, 20 year old to make it in the NHL, let alone have to worry about being initiated. And so Lee Fogelin, who was one of our first captains and Ron Shipperfield, they really uh, embraced that and treated everybody as an equal. So I had great mentors that taught me um, what it was like to be a leader of a hockey club and what did I need, what I needed to do more than just show up and play hockey. So when Glenn did make me captain, I think at 22 years old, I'd already played almost five years of professional hockey. Although I was still young, I was really mentally ready to take on that role. Um, but again, even if you have that role, you need tremendous uh, support. And I had that with Paul Coffey and Mark Messier and Kevin Lowe and Lee Fogel and just a real special group of guys. And so every single guy that came through that locker room, we would say he's an equal and he's important part of the success or the failure of this hockey club. And so I think that was just a mindset that we got when we all grew up in Edmonton. And, you know, fortunately it all worked out for us.